All right, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a really exciting project that I think you guys are really gonna like. It's, at first, it's daunting, it's scary, uh, it's huge, it takes a long time, um, but what I found through the process is that it's rather cathartic and rather um, nice to execute. So I really want to share this project with you guys and show you um, how amazing of a project you can make if you just sit down and spend some time on it. You're going to save a lot of money by doing this on your own, but let's go ahead and get a little backstory. So, I think it was two years ago, Jeffree Star posted a photo, which I'll plug here, um, with his boyfriend and his boyfriend and him were celebrating their anniversary and in the photo there's tons of flowers and I think they did it in their house but what they what was striking about it was what Jeffrey was wearing and so when you did a little research you find out that it was a Gucci uh, basically a two-piece jumpsuit I don't know if it was sweatshirt material or what it was but it was completely crystalled with uh, hot fix crystals and it was done in vertical stripes on black fabric and the finish on the crystals was the standard crystal Aurora Borealis finish uh, and it disappeared well in the next two seasons Gucci re-released tops for men and women in the same pattern on black with the crystal AB finish with the same stripe, only a little bit wider, and I was in love. The only problem with this is that it was about $4,000 with taxes, and that just does not fit my budget right now. Maybe one day, but not right now. So I thought if I could find a way to make it cheaper, I could share that with you guys and still be able to have like a really fantastic piece to wear out or to wear um, over to friends houses and stuff. I'm here in Virginia right now visiting family. Um, it's been cold, it's been snowy, and then it's been warm, and then it's been snowy. Uh, back in Los Angeles, it's raining and snowing and then 70 degrees, so I don't really know what's happening, but here we are. Uh, so for this project I went through a couple of different ways that I could do the crystal design and ended up directly doing the same design in the same proportions that Gucci did with their stripes however one thing to note in the Gucci sweater is that the stripes are aligned incrementally the same whereas I spaced them out in all different spaces so it would seem a little bit more organic The standard crystal that I used was the Crystal AB finish. These crystals have hot, are called hot fix. They have a solid glue on the back of them, and when the crystal is heated, the glue liquefies, seeping in and attaching to the fabric, and then when it cools off, it dries. This glue is extremely strong. So I have done a prototype in which I did a small strip of the stripe, I sent it through the wash and the dryer, which you are not supposed to do, and most of the crystals lasted three times through three different cycles. Um, to get these crystals off, you cannot pick them off. You have to heat the glue back up and then remove the crystal or move it with a tweezer. So that's something that's really important to note. It's a little bit backwards from how you would think of a glue-on product. So, in diving in onto Amazon and finding out what kind of crystals I would use, they come in sizes specified with an SS and then a number. The larger the number, the larger the crystal. What I found with this was that everything up until SS20, which was 4.5 millimeters to 5 millimeters wide in diameter, came in 1,440 pieces and came in roughly somewhere under $10. And this was across the board. The minute you jumped up to the SS30, which is a little bit bigger, 
and looks more like a stud, the quantity dropped in the same price range. So feasibly, to get more coverage for less money, the SS20 seems to be the way to go. I personally love the way the SS20 looks because the facets on it are small but very reflective and the actual crystal is still small enough to where it has a very nice texture when you mass them out. When you mass out the SS30, it's going to look like studs and that's not to say it won't be as reflective and as glittery, it just won't have as many facets as when you have more crystals there in the same space. But for more bang for your buck, it's the SS20. Now, this brings up another issue. Brands. I got into initially buying on Amazon from a company called Massive Beads. I don't know who makes Massive Beads, but I also sought out another brand called Jollin, J-O-L-L-I-N. I went through about close to 35 packs of these crystals to do my shirt. My shirt has about roughly 40 stripes on it. I did the front, the back, the sleeves, and it is completely covered. It is a men's extra large, and so that roughly put me at about $300, 350-ish dollars, somewhere in between. That put my crystal count somewhere closer to 45 to 50,000 crystals. So, finding a way to efficiently execute these stripes is your best bet. Nothing is going to be super fast. It's going to take time. But what I suggest is that you find a setup that you are comfortable with doing over a long period of time. I averaged at about 30 minutes a stripe. So I was watching TV and movies throughout the entire process. I also was ironing in between creating the stripes to figure out what kind of tape worked and just figuring it all out from the basics. However, I would suggest you get all the stripes done that you need, then you do all your ironing or all your heat setting, or all your gluing. Whatever you need to do, do your steps all at once. It is a trek. But what I found is I actually began back into meditating in the middle of the process, and the process became much easier. I was able to listen to some self-help tapes, um, books on tape, watch a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of Netflix and Hulu, and it actually became very enjoyable once I got the knack of what I was doing. I will say that this pattern that I used is a little bit more labor intensive than other patterns would be, but I wanted this specific aesthetic because I want to show you guys that with very little skill and some time, you can execute something that brands like Gucci are doing. The sweatshirt. <clears throat> I chose a knit sweatshirt crew neck pullover. I would suggest doing some sort of cardigan, but here is the problem. What you want is a structured fabric that is made of all natural fibers. So if you think about many of the sweatshirts that you put on from day to day, a lot of them tend to have a polyester uh, fiber in them which makes them more supple and more luxurious feeling and softer to the skin. If you iron these crystals on, you have to iron them at a high temperature. That means you are going to melt any synthetic fiber that is inside that fabric. So you will burn any kind of fleece on the inside of the sweatshirt. You will, you have the potential to melt the sweatshirt. It will become plasticky which I made that mistake on my first prototype, which I will show you guys photos of. The other thing is that I went oversized. So I bought a Gildan sweatshirt on Amazon for about seven or eight dollars. I went oversized and bought an extra large because I was worried about 
uh, recently some weight that I gained and how a large would maybe swing, shrink up and, you know, not look good once the crystals were on it. The crystals, once they are put on the sweatshirt, will change the way that the sweatshirt lays on you. So the more structured and boxy the garment is, the more it's going to fall and change shape while it's weighted down by the crystals. That being said, if you buy a light and flowy jersey, it's going to get ripped to shreds by these crystals. They are heavy. My sweater probably weighs about 10 pounds. Um, but that's about it as far as buying the sweatshirt. Look for something that's utility weight. Um, it's strong. It fits you really well. Pre-wash it for any shrinkage because you will not be able to run these through the washer once you do them. Um, I would recommend just soaking them or uh, taking them to the dry cleaner and discussing with the dry cleaner what you can do. Um, but that's about it. So for application, basically what I had with me was painter's tape. And the painter's tape that I had was a specific kind of stick. It was the blue... Um, it had a logo on the top of it. It was the 3M painter's tape. I will link it below. But I used three kinds of tape. I used regular blue painter's masking tape, which left a glue residue on the crystals once I pulled up the iron. I used frog tape, which left an extremely strong glue on top of the crystals, so much as to where I had to clean all the crystals after I used it. And then I used this lock grip painter's tape which released with the heat. Essentially what you're going to do is you're going to create these stripes in the pattern that you want. You're going to apply them to the shirt or apply tape to the top of them, transfer that stripe to your sweatshirt and then iron it down. This can be tricky so I'm going to try and take you through it. But what I did was I measured the width of my stripe and the longest stripe that would be on my sweatshirt. So from the top of my neckline here, down the back, because the back of the sweatshirt is the longest space. Um, and then I created a template out of blue tape, about four or five layers of blue tape on a glass table. So I could slide the crystals easily. I had enough of a barrier of the tape around so they wouldn't flip up and over as I put pressure on them and added more stripes. And then I just put on the TV and started to go and hammer these out. Each stripe took me about 25 to 30 minutes, depending on how focused I was on the TV or what I was listening to and how into it was of the project. When I started meditating, there were days that I spent eight hours on this. If you squished it all together, I believe seven days of eight hours of work will get you through this project. Now, if you're not old enough to use the iron, this is gonna be a little bit more difficult for you. You're gonna to need to get your parents involved, and that is why I suggest getting all the stripes done at first. The other reason I suggest that is because once you start ironing these crystals onto this sweatshirt, you're going to get so excited that you're gonna want it done the same day. So don't do what I did, do a couple stripes, iron them on. That was for the purpose of seeing, you know, what works and what doesn't with this as it was a new project. So, I made the tape template. I organized the crystals in the stripes, slowly flipped the crystals over and did this. Now, just to make it clear to you guys, the title of this is 50,000 Crystal Sweater. I did, I organized 50,000 crystals and put them on this sweater. And if anyone who knows me knows my attention span is about five minutes. So if, you want to sit down and you're the kind of person who can get this done in a couple of days and hammer it out, great. If you can't, I suggest trying meditating to make this go a lot easier for you. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna organize all the crystals within the template. Then you're gonna take the uh, tape that you have and rip off a piece that's a little bit longer on each end and you're gonna pat it down on the stripe. I cannot express to you how important it is that you pat directly down on the tape to the crystals. You have to pull the tape taut over the crystals and then pat it down from the inside out. You don't want the crystals to slide at all. The minute the crystals slide, you've ruined it. 
and it is very easy to make these crystals slide. If you can get this correct, you will have the easiest time executing this sweater, but it does take time. I messed up a ton on the first sweater. Fuck. No. No! Ooh. I messed up a couple towards the end of doing the sweater. You just have to have patience and know that you can fix it. You can rip off small pieces of the stripe and fix other areas on the sweater. You're going to be fine. Um, so then once the stripes are created, I lined mine up by eye and starting at the center, I moved out from the center by ironing the stripes on. So basically you have to iron the stripe through the tape, which can be dangerous because the tape can burn. So you have to watch for that. And then I let the tape and the crystals cool down because you cannot remove the tape while the adhesive underneath the crystal is still hot. The crystals will rip right up. You can put them back down, press it down with the iron and let it cool, but you have to let the stripes cool before you remove the tape. That way the glue that binds the crystals to the fabric can turn back to a solid. This glue is extremely strong. On the first sweater that I tried, I tried to pick off one of the crystals that had been adhered and it actually ripped the utility knit underneath. So if you want to move or adjust any of the crystals that are already glued to the sweater, you have to heat them back up with the iron, use a tweezer and move them back into position. That means that it might leave a glue residue if you do that but it doesn't really show up that bad. So another thing you might want to consider playing with are these little crystal kits that you can get, which I will link below on Amazon. These range, I believe from SS6 to SS30. So you can see a range of sizes and colors for the cost of like 10 bucks. And you can really sit around and play with these and see how they work. And you can buy them hot fix, so they have to go on the back. But what you can notice, I don't know if you can see from here, is where the facets show up in these bigger ones, down at the bottom, I believe this is SS20, right? Yeah, it is, right here. It doesn't show up as much as you go smaller and smaller. It's not able to reflect large pieces of light. So make sure that when you're picking these out, you pick something that you can see really reflects the light when you look at it. Some other things to consider are that AB finish crystals and opaque crystals, like this jet black, reflect from the outside of the crystal. Translucent crystals, like this blue here, this sky blue, bring the light into the crystal, which fractures, reflects off the back and comes back out. So again, you're going to get a different kind of uh, sparkle from the different crystals. Another thing to consider is what I used was Crystal Aurora Borealis, which is opaque, but the finish on that is a multicolored oil slick like finish. You have finishes like Volcano, which go from green to orange to purple that are translucent, which still give you a lot of bang for your buck, but they have a sh color shift in them. So there's a lot of things to consider. These things come in so many different colors. Um, but I suggest that you play around with them and see which, work, which works best for you. Some tribulations that I hit, uh, mainly just with patience. I really had a hard time buckling down with this until I started meditating and listening to really good music and just checking out. This can only be done if you are doing a design that is cathartic and methodic and integrated. I went for a brick pattern four over five continuously, which is the same as the Gucci sweater. However, if you were to do five over five or four over four, your sifting into the stripe template that you've made will go much faster. You can 
mash the crystals in there organically so there are no straight horizontal lines within the design. That will also save time. It's up to you. If you want to save money, reduce the size of your stripes, space them further apart. Um, you can do pinstripes, which are just as effective. I just wanted to recreate the Gucci sweater in my own way so that you guys could see how big of a project this was. Um, I did almost the entire sweatshirt except for five stripes and then Massive Beads upped their price on their package. So I looked for, I had to reorder two or three times and I ordered from two or three vendors. By the end, I found a brand called Queen Me. Queen Me's, from my experience, are way more consistent. I had a lot of mishap crystals with the other brands. They are, the glue is cleaner on them and more consistent on the backs, the amount of glue. The finish on the outside, the Aurora Borealis coating finish, was way more consistent on the Queen Me. Only problem was for me was that it was just a slightly different color than the crystals I had been using prior. Whereas when it's sparkling and you're out, no one's going to notice. I noticed as a designer that this Queen Me brand was a lot warmer yellowy gold. It had the same color shifts, but when you looked at the stripes when they were not sparkling, these looked gold and these have almost a silver appeal to them. Um, so try to do the math correctly when you're figuring out how much crystal you need. And if you can only order, order a certain amount, maybe base your design off of that number. Just remember when you're searching, as I hit this issue twice, when you're looking through these flatback crystals on sites like Amazon, where there are multiple colors available under the same listing, make sure that when you switch between colors that it still says hot fix. Sometimes when I would switch sizes, it would change from hot fix to non hot fix, which would mean you have to put glue on the back of every single crystal independently before adhering it to the clothing. So I'm out here walking Bean, and as you can see, I'm the sweater. <clears throat> it looks pretty normal, but I just wanted to bring it out here to show you guys what it looked like when it hit the sunlight. So I'll give you one second. Here it is. So this is what the sunlight does to the crystals. As you can see, they're extremely reflective. The facets on them are multicolored, even though it's a standardized color. I thought you should see. Here's the final piece. As you can see, it's really sparkly. It's really heavy. It feels like armor and it looks like jewelry. This thing is really fun to wear and I feel really expensive wearing it. And I also feel really accomplished for having made it. I hope you guys are inspired to buy some of these crystals and embellishments and try working on your own projects. Sound off below or hit me up on social media and let me know what you think or show me the projects that you guys did. Thank you so much for watching.